So you know that submersible that killed some rich guys? Well, it didn't fail because of numerous flatly dismissed safety concerns in the name of CEO Stockton Rush's warped vision of innovation, but because of woke hiring policies, according to thick mind genius Jeremy the Quartering Handley. Jeremy put out a video on the tail end of the whole debacle with, I gotta say, one of the most masterful and psychically injurious thumbnails I have yet seen, called The Dark Woke Secret of the Missing Titanic Sub, as crew has just hours to live. The video starts off with a bang. Jeremy gets straight to the point and lets us know that this was death by diversity. Death by DEI, uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's actually, uh, you know, haunting. He also lets us know that he does find this event funny, but not because the victims are rich. I guess I like it, you know, I think it's funny. But then there's also like this weird leftist cheering for these people to, uh, you know, laughing at them dying because mostly just because they're rich. Why do you find it funny, Jeremy? Mm, no, I don't like to make fun of rich people or anything, but I do just love it when people die. Okay. So the central focus of this video is a small clip where Stockton Rush talks about his hiring practices. When I started the business, one of the things you'll find, there are other sub operators out there, but they, they typically um, have uh, gentlemen who are ex-military submariners, and they you'll see a whole bunch of 50-year-old white guys. What's wrong with that? Jeremy uses this clip to claim that the reason it all went wrong for the sub is because the company decided to prioritize hiring diverse employees. Female pilot. Now, obviously, if the company did do this, it wouldn't be the reason that this all happened. There's plenty of evidence at this point that Rush cut corners building the sub and ignored warnings from others about its safety. It's very clear that this man thought he was above safety regulation and either figured that nothing bad would happen to him or was simply okay with the prospect of putting people's lives in his hands in order to do something extreme and maybe cool. But it didn't happen. And Jeremy's reaction isn't about diverse hiring practices, not really. It's about how we reference race in the first place. What I find most immediately interesting about this video's bold claim is that for most of us watching this clip, it just doesn't seem that deep. Rush isn't coming after the white man here, referencing them as just him noting the reality of the demographics he sees among ocean and deep sea diving experts, invoking the idea of busty old dudes who are stiff and stubborn in their ways and who stick to established practices, unlike me, also an old white guy, but one who's willing to make my sexy, innovative diving equipment out of straw that I took from a horse's mouth. The characteristic he emphasizes, in fact, is not race, but rather youth. Youth is the vector through which he will obtain his dream, with impressionable and moldable employees that, unlike the old dudes who know their stuff, will not talk back when you say, I want you to install anime ladies strip mahjong game on the submersible's computer. The employee shown as an example of youthful exuberance, you'll notice, is also white. Female pilot. Wow, it's almost as if Stockton Rush doesn't have any issues with white people whatsoever. How about that. It's also just really funny to frame a company wanting to court fresh, impressionable young hires to mold into the perfect unquestioning workers as woke. But everything comes full circle and becomes woke in one way or another if you're really dedicated to the grind. If Jeremy feels that focusing on diversity and hiring means that good employees are unfairly passed over, it's interesting that the mention of age elicits no response. There's one simple reason for that, and it's that Jeremy doesn't think old people are inherently better than young people and thus need to be righteously defended, but he does think that about white people and men. The central point of Russia's comment that youth is desired in his company's workers doesn't matter, because it's meaningless to the quartering for young people to be privileged when it comes to hiring, but the idea of noting that white people are heavily represented in high-level positions is itself an offense. Because such a thing is an unquestionable good. Of course they are, right? They're better. So the tongue-in-cheek reference to the racial makeup of accomplished ocean tech specialists, a group Stockton Rush wished to avoid because they have power, authority, and education, becomes a dire rejection of the natural supremacy of white people, and the grave of the rich with dreams that couldn't be bought becomes woke. And Jeremy makes another video. We know that if everybody on that on this on this boat identified, you know, had pronouns or were they thems. Uh, you know, we'd have the full deployment of the U.S. military to, to find them. 